In this lesson, we're going to look at how to find the earliest start time, latest finish time, float time, and the critical path. Before we start, you need to get a piece of paper and copy this diagram. So, pause the video now. This diagram tells us that we have to start the task A before anything else. And task B, C, D cannot start until A is completely finished. As you can see, the left hand side box is the earliest start time and middle box is the duration of each task. So, to find the earliest start time for B, you're going to do 0 plus 2. So that's 2 here. And C as well. And D. Now we're going to look at activity E. Activity E cannot start until B and C are finished. So, B's task takes 5 days. 2 plus 5, so the earliest is 7. C's task takes 6 days, so 2 plus 6, 8. So E will have to wait until C is finished, so I would have to write 8. So if two arrows are going into one activity, you need to choose the bigger one. So going from left to right, choose a bigger number. Now it's your turn, so pause the video and then you're going to finish the question yourself. When you finished, turn it back on and we'll check your answers. Starting from activity F, F depends on C and D's uh, finishing time, so 2 plus 6, 8, 2 plus 7, 9, and F will have to wait for the slow coach D, so starting time 9, and G 17, H, 20, I, 20, J, 22, K, 23, and L, 26. Now we're going backward to look at the latest finish time. To find the latest finish time, we're going backwards. Okay, so let's get a pen. We're going from right to left. Uh, starting from activity L, it started on the 26th day and took one day, so you finished on the day 27. Now, day 27 is a finish and it took one day to finish, so K's latest finish time is 27 take away 1, 26. And here as well, 26. Now, whenever two arrows going into one activity here and here into H, you need to be a little bit careful. So let's just change the color. Okay, so 26 take away 2, so I will have 24 maybe, or 26 take away 3, 23. Which one? Okay, so you Going from left to right, you chose the bigger one. This time you choose a smaller one, and then I'm going to write 23. Now you need to finish the diagram yourself. So let's check. Starting from I, you should have 23. And for G, 23 take away 2, 21 is going in this way, and 23 take away 3, 20 is going this way. So you're going to have to choose a smaller one, 20. E is 17, F 17, B 8, C 8, D 13, and A 2. We now look at the critical activities. Critical activities are the ones that's got no leeway. So let's look at A. A starts on day 0 and it takes 2 days and the deadline's on day 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So that's a critical activity. No idle time in the middle. B. B starts on day 2, takes 5 days, so 2 plus 5 is 7. 
but B doesn't really have to finish until day 8. So it's got one day of idle time or float time. So that's B is not a critical activity. C, 2 plus 6 is 8, no leeway. So C is a critical activity. I now marked all the critical activities with stars, so let's find the critical path. The critical path follows critical activities, but it mustn't have any break in the middle. It has to flow from the beginning till the end seamlessly. So you would have a path like this. So the critical path for this question is A, C, E, G, I, K, L. Now we're going to look at the float time. So I'm going to use example F here. Now, F starts on day 9 and it takes 4 days. So 9 plus 4, actually, it finishes by the 13th day. But F got till day 17 to complete this task. So actually, 17 take away 13 is 4. 4 day float time. So let's look at D, activity D. Activity D, 13th day is a deadline and starting on day 2, taking 7 days to finish. So 13 take away 9 is 4, so the answer is 4 days. If you fancy more questions just like this one, you can look at these papers on the screen. Now remember, math is all about practice, so until next time, sayonara!